Now we're going to see the troubleshooting for the compact module thermodynamic trap. The compact module thermodynamic trap consists of an inlet isolation valve, the outlet isolation valve, a bypass valve, a vent valve and a trap test valve. We have two kinds of failures. One is an open failure where the steam is leaking at the downstream. The second is a closed failure where the trap is not discharging at all. Troubleshoot the open failure. One has to check the trap installation. Ensure that the trap is installed in the right direction. And the arrow direction is being followed. Once this is done, one needs to check for any kind of foreign particle deposition between the seat and the disc. Before opening the top cover, open the vent valve. This ensures that any steam trapped in this main body is released from the trap vent valve. Keep the bypass valve cracked open so that any condensate being formed is removed from the system. Once this is done, open the top cover. Use the right sized tools to open the top cover. Once this is done, check for any kind of foreign particle deposition between the disc and the seat. If any fine scratches are observed on the disc or the seat, do the lapping procedure. Also check the step present in the top cover is intact and not worn out. In addition to this, check the gasket for any kind of damages. Equally, see the inner, outer gaskets for any kind of damage. If damaged, replace the same. Reassemble the trap with new gaskets or intact gaskets. Use proper tools to tighten the fasteners. Ensure that the fasteners are tightened equally at diagonally opposite directions. Once this is done, Check the trap discharge pattern for any kind of leakage. The second type of failure is a closed failure. In a closed failure, the trap won't discharge condensate. Ensure that the trap is installed in the correct direction. Also ensure that the upstream pressure is sufficient enough for the trap open. Refer the manual for the upstream pressure limitations. Check whether the upstream isolation valve is in a fully opened condition. Check the downstream valve is also fully opened. Check the drip leg for any kind of blockages. If so, flush the drip leg thoroughly. Once the drip leg is flushed, check for the inbuilt strainer. Use proper sized tools to remove the strainer cap. Use wire brush or kerosene to clean the screen. Once the screen is cleaned, check the screen in a source of light for any kind of blockages. Reassemble the screen and tighten the strainer cap. Use anti-seize for an effective leak-proof joint. Once this is done, check whether the trap is discharging. Check whether condensate is available or reaching the trap. If the trap appears hot and is still not discharging, pour cold water on the top cover and check for trap discharge. If it is getting air locked, replace the disc with anti-air binding disc. For the DV valve leakages, 
Replace the ceiling rings as shown in the user manual. This is how one troubleshoots a compact module thermodynamic trap.